Langdon, and uh, I grew up in Prior Lake. After moving away and coming back, I it was necessary for me to live in Prior Lake because of St. Michael, and I never really realized how much of a growing experience it's been for our family. The volunteer opportunities that are given or that present themselves, helping out at school, you know, from helping in the classrooms to um, that, you know, the lunch line, being able to, you know, see the kids on a daily basis when they come through for lunch and who your child is going to school with. Hi, I'm Rhonda Swaver. I've been a member at St. Mike's for over 20 years and almost from the beginning of my um, our marriage we started by volunteering uh, to get to know other people and to give back to the church and so I want to share a story with you about this past Christmas when all the decorations needed to come down and it's quite an undertaking I spread the word and I had over 20 people come and help me take down the decorations and it took half the time because we had all those wonderful hands to help. My name is Lori Aker and uh, my husband and I and our two daughters have been members at St. Mike's since 1991 when we moved back here from California. Our, our initial involvement actually started um, with our children both going to St. Michael's school. I originally thought I wanted to do it you know to keep involved with their education which is very true. I enjoyed volunteering getting to know more and more people in the community and at the school. Being here for 20 years doing all the different kinds of um, ministries and committees that I was on, um, had no clue that you know there was going to be a time that I would need that support. Um, but it was uh, that community support that sustained me. I, it's important for me that my kids see that I'm active and involved in the church and the community and the school. I think some of my lifelong friends um, from that point forward have been formed. We help host the fish fries, um, and that's pure fun. I mean, there's nothing but enjoyment for us, even though we're giving back to the community. Well, I find myself saying yes to more <laughs> as I get older. But I think my biggest benefit was not too long ago, I found out they were volunteering at different things on their own. I asked them, you know, what made you decide to sign up and be a volunteer, and they said, we watched you as we grew up and that we found that that was what you enjoyed and it brought joy to other people. We're, we're told to take care of our neighbor and, and whether it's watering the flowers or cleaning the floors or whatever, it's just to give back. I mean to show thanks for what we get from our community. Um, you teach your children a lot of things just from them watching you. I had no clue that my kids paid that much attention to it and that it would lead them to doing it as they got older. So. All the volunteering that I've done personally always falls into the category of something that I never think I have time for, but I never regret once I do it. It just reminds me of how much we depend on each other, I guess. You know, and when I kind of choose to take time out of my schedule to help other people, it makes a huge difference in the lives of other people, and when you see that, you remember then how much you depend on other people as well. You know, we, we need a lot of volunteers all the time. Like Wednesday night, we have probably have 80 that come in. And, and just all the things that we do, the dinners and breakfasts and the coffee house, and there's no way the ministry could survive if people didn't step forward and be part of our ministry. When parents are involved, the, the children are much more apt to become involved in, in the church. We uh, need to give back in order to receive. You know, and not because you receive that you give, but it just happens that way. You like feel anchored in the community, and um, you know that you really do belong. I think if you don't have that connection, you just come and go. You maybe don't feel the the bond that I do now. I, everywhere I go, I see people <laughs> that you know are like givers and. Um, it's a, such a good feeling. Come together and serve God by serving other people is like the most beautiful thing in the whole world. Because that's what, that's where I get a really good sense of what joy looks like. Yeah, I want to take this opportunity uh, to thank people, to thank all the volunteers. And I just so much appreciate them, you know. 
Sometimes we don't thank people enough, do we? And recognize them enough for their hard work and their dedication. I pray in prayers of thanksgiving often for our volunteers in the program here. One of the major blessings of this whole community is that we are together and um, got each other's back, so to speak. You know, your reward will be, you know, great in heaven. Different hearts, different lives. Spread the faith, spread the truth.